Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dream Moods Tarot here for another video for the sign of Capricorn. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I'm I'm here. You know, um, had to take care of a lot um, towards the end of um, last year. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I'm, like, mentally here for you guys and, you know, giving y'all the best read as possible. Um, you know, um, when you, especially when your mind is cluttered, you, you, un, you know, you unpack that. And that's what I did. I did. And I'm here with my new, in my new place, you know, feeling good, feeling great. Hope you guys are as well. And, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Happy New Year. All that. I don't think I even was around around Christmas. Yeah, I went ghost. When the energy calls to restore, you do that. You do that no matter what. All right. Here we go. Sunday one. One more universe, one more. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other in reverse. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Oh, excuse me. Came in reverse. So what I'm feeling here is that um, there's a lack of confidence um, in finding um, the one you feel that is yours. Um, and this could take it how, how it resonates um, and leave what doesn't. If I'm talking to my singles out there who are... Um, Fairly just got out of a relationship um, that you really, really um, believed and felt that it would last long. Um, and then you st and, and then you guys started to argue a lot, started to misunderstand each other. Um, and you lost you lost you both lost faith and hope in the relationship. And you are you're no longer you're no longer looking um at at the past as something that you could possibly rekindle. But moving forward, um you're still hesitant. Singles for my singles, you're still hesitant. You don't know if you should, you know, um go out in the field, make yourself vulnerable, um, and available to others. Um because you're not sure. You're not sure if you're really over your um, your past person. You feel real strongly that you guys were meant to be. You invested a lot into the relationship. And I get it. When you invest and you invest and you try to build with someone. And then the outcome is not what you expected. You start giving hope even in yourself, but you may not, you can't lose yourself. You can't lose yourself in a midst of finding love. Because you need you to be, to be a part of what, why you're building this. Most of us spend our time putting other people's burden on our shoulders and not realizing that 
at times we're suffocating ourselves and we have no idea. That's why we lack certain things in relationships because they become exhaust. You're constantly giving and giving, giving into a relationship that no longer is giving to you anymore. So who's putting back into you? No one. Because you're steady worried about giving to others that you have nothing else to give to yourself. It's like anything that you restored, you're, re you're, you're releasing it to others. And I hope it makes sense to, to those out there who are struggling with letting go of something that you tried your best to keep. And it's no longer, it's no, it's no longer for you. It's no longer for you. And those who are trying to pursue um, a relationship, because um, I'm getting two storylines where if one is already ready and feel as though that they're healed, if you do not heal what's what went on in the past and forgive yourself and forgive the other person and believe that you're healed and you want to move forward in another relationship you're going to primarily possibly make the same mistakes you did in the past because you did not allow yourself enough time to heal from the situation while you're looking back you're trying to look forward so there's two people who feel as though you know, um, one single but still hurting and thinking that they can salvage the past while the other one wants to move forward but is not giving itself time, is not fully ready enough to actually give it, give it its all in the next relationship. Because you'll probably end up making certain, you know, like certain habits from that past relationship into the new relationship so be mindful but let's look more into it let's look more into it because you could be someone's soulmate or the soul the person could be your soulmate but it doesn't mean that you guys will have a happily ever after some people see that and then they're like, oh my God. And the person has, yeah. That's what soulmates are. They they understand you. You know, um, you guys start building things, connecting in certain levels that you didn't expect you can connect with a human being. And that's a soulmate. You are supposed to feel those things with a soulmate. But then some are really are not there to be there forever. It's easy said and done. It's easy said and felt. And that's what hurts. Five of Wands. I love the artwork in in these. It just it just shows a battle. It's like it's a battle you you know you're facing, and it's like you're it it's like you're in your head. You know, should I allow myself to feel sorry for what I could have done in the past? How are you supposed to do it? So so what would you want to do? Stop, think, and. and and just be lost in the fact of what you could have changed when you know you there's nothing you can do. Nothing. So the Empress in reverse. The Emperor, excuse me. The Emperor in reverse. This is why I like to put it up close. So y'all can be like, ah, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands.
you guys will find peace um, if you actually let the past go. And when you actually let it go, I think you guys will start to see the fruits of your labor of how you with the stuff that you've been through, um, what you was trying to dish out to people, you will soon reap those rewards. But it starts with you allowing the past to to let, let go. If you can see, okay, if you can see yourself with this person again or back again, maybe at times we forget to take space. And not knowing space sometimes make the heart fonder. But being... But being as the, if you or your partner cross watchers are welcome, and put your place you know where where you fit. Um, you're fighting for something, but you have to allow the person also to make that effort, just as well as you, because you don't want at the end. You you're the only one fighting. It's just not fair. It's not fair at all, and I think. Uh, um, the past made you feel alone at times as the night because you know you was capable and able to be loved. You are capable of, of being loved. <clears throat> and once you understand your worth and understand that you deserve better and that and to allow anything that's supposed to be be, then it will be. Because trying to express your love to the past right now is only going to stop your progress. It's only going to start stop your progress. And this is the new year. Don't you want to see different things different for yourself, Cap? Capricorn. You know? You would want to. And excuse me for sometimes how passionate I get, but sometimes I feel like people need to hear certain things because it is what it is. Like we stop ourselves from finding love knowing that we want that love, but we can't let go of something that we are so familiar with. But if we learn to let those things go, we will reap the rewards that the universe has seen us try to do with someone will be given back what you give out to the world is what you receive that's why it's always good to be mindful of your thoughts what you do and everything so let's get some let's get some um feel like there was something and it, it just stopped my train of thought. And it stopped my train of thought because it's like you guys know what to do, you know, but then it it, it gets overwhelming if y'all would know the energies do not lie and what the energies is saying that you guys give enough that you guys if you step back a little bit and allow someone to take the lead, then you may see results. But if you're continuously doing the same thing, the person's not going to see the, er the, you know, the error in their actions. Because you're always constantly apologizing. And if you're not like saying it verbally, I'm sorry. Or you're doing things to show that you were wrong. When in reality, the person also played a part in what went wrong. But if you're the one that's constantly always making men's first and not allowing that person to see the error of their ways, then yeah, they'll never learn. Fear to say? Fear to say. Maybe dealing with a Leo fire sign. An ear. So, for the first one, a time of healing in reverse. Okay? You're you're not taking the time to heal and you need to. For the ones that I had said, 
Um, and if you already feel like you've done the healing and you want to move on in the next relationship, just remember that sometimes habits from the past carries on. So be mindful of what what you keep still, the hurt that you still keep hidden and suppressing, and then you want to move forward in the next relation in the next relationship, you know. It's that's why it's best to heal and 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 make sure that you covered all like you closed all the doors in the past and not comparing from the person um from your past to the person in the future because I know you your Capricorn sometimes tend to do that without acknowledging that you're actually comparing and when you compare you're 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 calling in the negativity that what that came in with your past so it's like everything that would like even the good the bad all that you're taking it and bringing it into your your new relationship and you don't want that you don't want the same thing if that's the case you would have kept fighting for something that was also fighting for you you know if it was fighting if it was fighting confidence is your key to success Okay, have confidence that you're able and capable of healing properly, of knowing and understanding your worth. Look at the fire in the card. That energy needs to run through you. That feeling of knowing that you're willing and, and able and capable of, of um, finding true love and someone that's going to actually reciprocate what you're trying to give. Believe in yourself. Really, believe in yourself. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Okay? You need to hold your vision. Lacking of holding your vi uh, vision and seeing, seeing what you actually want and you feel that you deserve. That's the only way. That's the only way you could... Possibly um, see the fruits of your labor is if you actually know and think positive thoughts. Know that this hurdle, you'll soon, you'll soon jump over it and know that you can exceed anything your heart desires. And people are going to, you're going to attract people. And the only way you can attract people is if you have confidence in yourself. That's the only way. The only way. You got to believe in yourself. And heal. Take time to heal. People, people, the right people will come towards you. The right people. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, uh, greatly appreciated. Till next time. Peace.